what's up YouTube today we're going to look at an operation from uh, the day before yesterday we took it down in 15 attacks and we could have done a new record aka less than 13 attacks I start things off with Buka and full boost so I deployed my troops on the right side to beat the rock launcher on top of there of course three smokes pretty darn easy and just keep everything shocked over there and of course the crit is to distract the shock launcher because that could be Disaster for my Zookas. Okay. And that's the first attack of course. Taking down circuit board. Next up Mr. Argus clearing up low point. First off some mines to make it easy on the next guy and of course on himself. Because that could easily murder all his zookas. Oh, hey. I can of course look at my computer instead of my tablet. Recording goals. Woohoo! And after this, cleared up some more mines and got wrecked by the shock launcher. This base got killed by Mr. Archeo. Ozukas again and let's speed it up a little bit clearing up the flamethrower and the last boom mine before just deploying his troops without grouping up keep the shock launcher boom cannon combo shot because well boom cannon yeah boom cannon not boom cannon uh, could easily pick up some Zukas and uh, of course the shock launcher is the nasty bit that you don't want to hit your troops and at last boom cannon doesn't really matter because it is not fast enough and a little faster for the takedown second base down great start not yet. Done. Mr. Biggins clearing assembly. And this attack clears pretty much everything. Makes it so that no GB is needed for deployment at all and as you can see in a couple of seconds it will clear the whole top side too so that you don't need any shocks to finish GB in the rocket so they are gone in the next attack flames are gone mortar gone and last Flamethrower also. And now it's just waiting for the Scorcher to die. And the second account of Mr. Argus can easily finish now. And of course, going with the GBE first. And I want a little bit faster. He takes the time to group up his Zookas and yes that smoke was needed. Flares him to the top. Doesn't want any of his ladies picked up. And he does have to shock this mortar. But little too late doesn't matter. Two shots of his Zookas make the go down very very quickly and let's see quick charge is next 
by Mr. Nightsoul. Plan here is clear the right side, all mines, shop launcher and doom cannons. So all Zuka can get between the rockets and the machine guns. And easily finish at around this spot over here. Because there is a doom cannon that does splash damage, will kill all your Zukas. Very, very annoying for operations, but very usable on player bases. And sadly, there's no spot to flare his Zukas in a well called free spot because all the power cells are right next to each other. Quick charge is after a couple of waste attacks done by Mr. DIH. And of course very easy takedown because everything is gone. Flamethrower is still in range, Doomkin is still in range. And he's gonna give his Zuka's lung cancer by smoking it. That's not nice. Next up, Commodore. Both accounts are from Mr. Rocky. First attack is mostly clearing the mines and getting rid of the beach stuff. So he saves a lot of TBE on the attack with uh, his main count for the finish. And sadly he doesn't get enough for a free pass because then he would need to get rid of those two. And that would save around 3 or 4 smokes so that's pretty expensive on this final attack and this is a really nasty Commodore because usually there are not mortars on top so that will make for one extra shock which of course is also very very pricey but as you could see he takes it down smokes them right on the right side where there is a little little space Four shocks, one batch of critters, just in time for the shock launcher to get distracted, and one final shock on flamethrowers because they would wreck the critters instantly. Very nice deal attack. And then the last base is Tapir by Mr. AK Boomer. H Okay, boomer. And he is clearing the right side. Of course there isn't really a safe spot for shock launchers. So all you can do is distract them. Let's speed it up a little bit and see what he is gonna try. Ah, you wanna get rid of the second shock launcher and the mortars. Ooh, he doesn't clear it in time for it to shoot one. That's a shame. But after two more attacks, it goes down. Grouping up the Zookas of course as always and he's gonna finish them at that spot over there most likely, I'm not sure so let's see, two flares to get to the top and like I said exactly at one o'clock and one batch of critters for the rocket launchers Second batch of critters for the rock launchers and two shocks. And down it goes. So very good operation, sadly no new record. But it is what it is. 
tomorrow of course imitation game I hope you have some nice troop combos for me because I have not come up with anything yet so hope you enjoyed